welcome to the virtual groom room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be very new. And this is from Lofa Grooming. And this is Namka. Uh, Namka is a beautiful scent. Um, the way I would describe Namka is... Oh, man, so... Um, there have been plenty of shaving soaps with Oud, or what people claim to be Oud. This doesn't have real Oud in it, but the Oud Accord it has is the most realistic Oud Accord I've ever smelt in a shaving soap. Um, quite frankly, it hits kind of all the nails on the head when it comes to an, an Oud-based scent. This is a scent that's inspired by a fragrance from Diptyque, and it's called Oud Palau. Um, it's got rose, it's got Oud and it has like this vanillic sweetness. Overall, I would describe the scent. Oud forward, a bit of rose. I'd say like a jammy rose. The rose isn't dry, so the rose does stand out amongst the oud. Kind of a normal oud rose combo. And then in the base, there's like this really nice, um, sweet, almost vanillic aspect to it. It's a really enjo enjoyable fragrance. I will add the caveat though that the oud in this fragrance does not mess around. Um, it's it's pretty skanky. It's quite animalic. Um, that might not be to a, some some people's taste, quite frankly. Um, the the oud itself is a bit barnyardy, which is the way oud should be. Um, when you get an oud like oud wood, for example, that's not oud. Like that's a synthetic oud that they've basically taken all of the real aspect of oud away from it. This is oud and it's done incredibly well. So well well done, Johnny. Um, I, I, I expected as much anyway. Um, and the good thing about this release is it finally lets him release his aftershave splash. This is the Namka aftershave splash. I've, I've had the privilege of testing this aftershave splash and it's very good. So we're, we're gonna use that today. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Our brush today is a my a new Voyant Cop brush. This is this is mine, of course. This is using his two band knot. As you know, I had one that has his uh, silver tip, his three band. So this is the two band knot. I borrowed my good friend John Shaves. Uh, if you haven't watched John Shaves' channel, I recommend you do. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, I borrowed his. Absolutely loved it. Had to get one for myself. And my razor today is my good old Wade and Butcher Sheffield Wedge. I'm gonna be shaving with that. So let's get the face wet, let's get lathered up, and we'll get to uh, get to shaving here. So this is the, um, if any of you don't know, both uh, slightly changed their base. I, I found the initial offerings to lack a little bit of density. Um, and Johnny fixed that. So the, the soap now, ever since the juice release, has been a different soap base, basically. Not drastically, I think he just tweaked a few things to make sure it was more dense, and he did a great job. This is possibly my number one soap base at the moment, as far as performance goes, so. Man, that's so. Um, another big thing with this scent, um, it's quite strong. Um, he's he's up the scent strength in all of his soaps. This one is about a seven out of ten. Might even be a bit stronger to some people. I have to kind of stand off center because my camera's right in the bloody middle. I guess I could just quickly. I hope that's okay. So yeah guys, it's been a while. I'm sorry that I took a break. Like I've told you, like I prefer to bring you new stuff. If I don't have new stuff, I prefer to just not make videos, if you know what I mean. Because I... I'm not the sort of guy to, you know, stand in front of the camera and shave with old gear. Like, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. I, I, I think it's fine when people do, and that's completely up to them, but that's not what really my channel's been about. So, anything I have that's new will see this channel, and you'll see it. Hear my opinions on it. Really, aside from that, I'm not gonna... 
I don't think I'll be, I'm not willing to shave with old stuff. So if there are lulls in the action, it's, my apologies, it's just because I've not bought anything. Um, and to be honest, I probably have some stuff in my collection that you guys haven't seen me use, but there's a, there's a degree of whether people care about it anymore, you know? And I'm not gonna make videos of something that was released last year just because I haven't made a video on it. Like, I don't know if I made a video on Mumtaz. I don't think I did. And Mumtaz was one of my scents of the year, and it still is. So there's that. Mumtaz is by Grooming Department. Um, I love that. Love it. Um, it's fantastic. I do have a a video in the for the Omni, Omnibus base coming, so that'll probably be uploaded in the next few days. I ordered Seville in the Omnibus base by Baron Strindman. He's released a new soap base for anyone that hasn't been watching. Um, so I'll be using that and giving you my thoughts. I'd like to get a couple of uses on it first um, before I kind of really evaluate his opinion. But yeah, this is perfect for me. When I shave with straight razors, I like a different type of lather. I want something that's a bit bit looser, less less dense, quite wet. Um, and I found that that just works much better for straight razors. So uh, you'll see me add more water here. Pretty, a bit more than I normally would. Fortunately, this soap base is outstanding and can just take it. Yeah, we're getting there. The sheen on this, I don't know if you can see, it's just great. Yeah, any Rose fans, any like real Oud fans, you're gonna bloody love this. There we go, that's, that's fantastic. I think we're good to be honest, guys. Let's paint a little bit more on, because why the hell not care? Let's draw the lines here. Don't waste a thing. Why do I do that? Well, I mean, I've, I've built lather in other places. I don't see the use in getting rid of it, you know? So I'll just grab it again, put it back on my brush. There we go. I think we're okay. Yep, we are. Okay, let's get ready for this first pass. Let's clean this off. So another cool thing, well, another thing, I'm not sure if you'll find it cool or not. I haven't shaved with a de razor in about, about a month, maybe. Um, I've only used, been using straights, and I've been really loving it, frankly. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I hope this is stropped. I'll find out. Let's do first pass here. Yeah, it's fine. Yep, feels really good. This is an edge from a... Long-time community member, Sean Kehoe. Uh, really nice edge. Of course, the really good soap helps. No dramas whatsoever. I prefer those heavier grinds, you know. I don't know about you guys, but the heavier grinds just suit me better. hair grows weird around there, so I need to kind of go up. The scent on the face, guys, is pretty strong. <laughs> I 
I'd say it's definitely a seven. Maybe even an eight, quite frankly. Like, it's it's pretty strong. Definitely lets its presence be known. Let's go for this left side here. Dropping lather everywhere. Drop the hand here. Fantastic. Feels great. Edge feels great. Soap is fantastic. We can go to second pass here. Let's put the razor down. Really nice first pass. It, like the interest, like in in between pass slickness is madness. I'm um, very good with this soap. Very good. I like to spread it around a bit. Just really get in there. And we'll go back. Plenty of soap in the brush, so no problems there. Slather up for our second pass. Let's get all this around the bottom here. really well hydrated. I can see that. Oh, done. Cool. Lines again. I think we're fine kind of on the neck. Maybe a little bit on this side. There we go. Always drop the hands. <laughs> that's pretty the that's pretty much the way to straight razor shaving. Making sure you have dry hands consistently. Some people use alum but don't, don't feel the need. Let's go cross grain here. Really comfortable. The soap is excellent, it really is. I try and get past my jawline because I find it easier, if, like when I'm going across on this side, to just go straight across instead of having to really lower my, uh, lower kind of my grip. Switch the left hand here. Not still not as fluent with the left, but I can get it done. So this is where I think, I think more about blade distribution here. Like actively trying to engage the, the, um, the end, like the end of the blade here. There we go. Oh, 
do, I think. Rent some switch hands. Well, not some switch hands, but switch sides. Mustache area, and then we'll do a cleanup pass. So my cleanup pass is like an inverted pass. Fantastic. Sorry about the lack of talking, guys, but the nature of straight razor shaping is just not a ton of talking. Um, the soap is doing a remarkable job, uh, offering great protection, really good slickness, and I know how good the post is going to be. If there was a company that didn't need a splash, it's this one. But because of the the nature of the shaving community, I think Johnny felt the need to release it. It's good business-wise as well to release the splash, so why, why the hell not? Okay, let's go cross-grain here. Well, I mean, this is an inverted pass, so you see what I mean. So what I try and do is I try and get... So my the hair on my neck kind of grows from ear to chin. And I try and get as low as I can to get as much of that. There we go. Switch sides here, rinse off the blade, and do the same on the left. do me. Fantastic. So I'll, I'll rinse the blade in a minute, kind of during my cleanup. Scratch my nose. Got to open a little blemish here, but that's fine. Let's get all of this soap from the brush. Let's get this on the face, clean up the gear, and I'll be back for my post-shave and my final thoughts. See you soon. Hey guys. Post shave time. Oh man. Got the immediate post on this. It's great. For me, I, I wouldn't typically use a post shave, frankly, but we're going to use one because the scent is fantastic. This is Loaf of Grooming Splash. This is Namka. The ingredients on this are great. Alcohol is not the first ingredient. It's there, but I've used it several times to know that it's really. There's nothing harming, basically. Because of the potency of the scent, you don't need a lot of this either. Let's get on this. Feels really good. Wow. Wow. Great shape. <laughs> great, 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 great shape. Okay. Let's do a recap and I'll let you guys go as always. So my choice of soap today was Lofa Grooming's Namka. Big, big thumb up from me. Um, I said it at the start and I'll say it again. The best depiction of oud in a shaving soap in my opinion. Um, the oud is realistic for, for once. It's not normally realistic in shaving soap. Did a very good job with this. This is based on a scent uh, from Diptyque as I said called Oud Palau and he freaking nailed it. It's, it's perfect um, as far as kind of how the scent is supposed to be. 
Soap Beast is, in my opinion, number one at the moment. Uh, get to use Omnibus, but this is this is my number one. It's my favorite to use. I find this most fun. Um, yeah, there's not much more I can say. I, I really enjoy Lofa as a company. Although I do get sent his stuff for free because he's a good buddy of mine. Um, I would buy it anyway, frankly. Uh, I'd have no problem with buying it. $20 for soap isn't really enough for me to throw away any integrity, I'll be honest with you. Um, if if it was bad, I'd tell you it's bad, and it's fucking not bad. It's really, really good. So if you're curious about it, I'd give it a try. Um, but I will say, though, with that scent specifically, if you're not a fan of really animalic scents, I'd be cautious because it is pretty animalic. I'm not going to deny that. Um, love it, though. Fantastic. My choice of razor today was the... Good old Sheffield Wedge by Wade and Butcher. This was um, restored for me by um, Edge Dynamics, who did a really good job. Uh, Edge put on it by Sean Kehoe. Thank you, Sean. Be yeah, a beautiful razor, one of my favorites. And last but very not least, actually no, second last. This is the Void and Cop brush with the two band silver tip. Great, great knot. There's his coin there. I love uh, Alessandro's work. I think he does a great job. And last, but very not least, is the Splash, which was fantastic. It's already dried down, so shows how good the Splash is for me. Yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. As always, I would very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Room, where we go on the world have a wonderful day.